today is the 14th sunday in the ordinary time today's scriptures are about announcing the good news they remind us the importance of announcing the good news of the kingdom by words deeds and life it is not the task of only a few rather it is a task of all baptized christians the first reading Isaiah announces the good news to the returned Babylonian exiles that the ruined and desolate Jerusalem will take care of them as a mother comforts her baby son. Isaiah assures them that they will live in the certainty of Yahweh's promises of love, protection, prosperity and salvation. In today's second reading, Paul removes the confusion created by the Judaizers the minds of the new gentile christians of galatia he clearly conveys the good news that it is jesus death on the cross which brings one salvation and not jewish heritage or practice of torah paul reminds us that the mission of each member of the church is to bear witness to the saving power of the cross of christ through a life of sacrificial self giving service The gospel passage of today describes the fulfillment of the prophetic promise made by Isaiah and Jesus commissioning our 72 disciples to preach the gospel or the good news of God's love and salvation in towns and villages in preparation for his own visit. Jesus gives the prepared disciples travel tips for their missionary journey. they must be walking witnesses of god's providence relying on the hospitality of others living very simple lives preaching the good news and healing the sick today's gospel reminds us that we the 1.5 billion christians in the world today have the mission of the 72 to preach the gospel of christ to the rest of the world's 4.5 billion non christians therefore my dear brothers and sisters we need to continue the proclamation of the gospel just as jesus in today's gospel gave instructions to the 72 missionaries who also give each one of us a mission to carry out as faithful christians we should attract others to the faith by leading exemplary lives just as a rose silently attracts people by its beauty and fragrance this is our job and our responsibility we must not miss the current opportunities to be apostles through our words and deeds in everyday life we need to avoid giving counter witness of practicing the supermarket catholicism of our politicians who publicly proclaim their catholicism and yet support abortion gay marriage human cloning and experimentation with the human embryos no should be be armchair catholics cafeteria catholics or sunday catholics who bear counterness to christ let us start proclaiming the gospel in our families by leading exemplary christian lives in which spouses love and respect each other raise their children in the spirit of obedience and service discipline them with the forgiving love teach them to pray love and help others by sharing their blessings may god bless all of you the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit